What's up, what's up? It's your boy Jones and Man, and tonight we're Jones and on Larceny Barrel Poop. So I went back in the vault on this one. As you can tell, this bottle has already been opened. So this will not be a fresh pop. However, I have not tasted this specific bottle before. So to give you the backstory on it, this could really be a series of sorts because this goes all the way back to COVID times. Uh, at the time we were working on doing some virtual tastings or virtual reviews. So I sent Jones um, a couple of pours, and then we would get together and, uh, you know, through a, a Zoom of sorts, review the bottles. Well, this is one of the ones that was in the mix that we never did. So the pours were done. I'm sure he's tasted it at this point, but I always try and save my first taste for you guys. This was around maybe 50 bucks, if that. It's Larceny Barrel Proof. This is A120. And I want to say this was a probably a jet early 2020 release. Uh, this comes in at 123.6 proof. Uh, I want to say 68% corn. Ooh, they got a little pop there. And 20 some percent. Yeah, 20% wheat. Because this is, largely is a weeder. And then the rest is malted barley. Which I started to... To give y'all a little backstory, we tried the first, when when Jones and I were collaborating, we tried the very first Larceny, which was just a regular standard. We tasted it, we kind of went through, and I was like, eh, I don't think I like this. Um, This is also a Heaven Hill product. So I find that I'm not usually a massive fan of Heaven Hill products right away. Not to say that I hate them, but there's a certain Heaven Hill funk that just, I don't know, just kind of, if I if given a choice, I would choose something different. That's, I guess the best way to say it. Uh, and, but as I let that sit, even in, go back and check out that review. If you go back and look at that review, we kind of just sip it and taste it on it. It kind of comes around for me. So I don't know what to expect in this one. Um, but, you know, we gave you the story about John E. Fitzgerald and essentially what he would do is go and steal, I mean, have a little larceny and pull out the best barrels for himself. And that's where the, the lore behind, behind the name comes from. So let's give it a nice little swirl. I let it sit a little bit. Man, this thing is nice, rich caramels. You get a little bit of oak underneath there. Little, I don't even know what, I don't know what that is I'm smelling right there, but. Man, it is, it is a great nose. And considering that it is one, I've also been drinking a little bit tonight. So 123.2, man, you would think like as soon as you put your nose in there, it'd be filled with alcohol. But it's not. It's not. It's very pleasant. But no need to belabor the point. Let's get into the taste then. Woo! Mm, that's the highest proof that I've had tonight. Explosive, nice cherry, coats the mouth very well, um, warms the mouth, tingles the tongue, but really doesn't 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 hike all the way down the chest. It gets in there a little bit. It, it, you know you, you know how you got that one cousin when you were little, that one cousin that would tap you in the chest every now and then when you came to visit, and you were like. You know, you you trying to be tough. Yeah, it, 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 it'll tap you in the chest. Wow. That is a little bit on the end, a little bit of that funk. Right there on the, that, that, right there on the end, that is heaven heel. But wow, it is caramel. Um, maybe a little dark chocolate in there. Ve just, oh, wow. That is a awesome pour. Awesome pour. Now, it is 120. 120. 123. This is batch. Should I say the batch? This is batch A120. It tells you 
how old this back is. I'm hoping that that ice, look at that, that ice comes out of my ice maker. You can check out jonesandman.com. You can find out how to get you one of the ice makers, the glasses. Look at them diamonds in there. Lawson it. Oh, this is Lawson is stealing diamonds. Now, the nose kind of goes away. This wide mouth glass, I really wasn't expecting a lot from it, but let's taste it. Bam. Now, here's the difference. This has a nice, mellow sweetness to it. Um, it is, if you if you don't like sweeter, sweeter whiskeys, because it's a one, it's a weeder. Uh, two, this has a nice sweetness to it. If you don't like sweeter whiskeys, you're more cinnamon, more will it. You probably won't like Larceny in general. You, and you won't like this, but man, it has a nice sweetness to it. It kind of starts to air on the side of like a, a like a, a maker's mark or um, maybe a little wood foot, but more, more makers than anything. Wow. Uh, but when you put it on the rocks, it tapers the heat down a lot. Brings that sweetness up to the top, but it also will highlight um, that little. I guess I, you know. I think that what I don't. I need to check the mash bill on regular Larson. I assume it's probably about the same. The malt, that funk, that smokiness is is that little bit of malt that comes out, and you really get that more so on the rocks than you do on the neat pour. While the neat pour is like woo. Yeah, you wanna you wanna sip. I, I'm not chugging this, but you, some of y'all might be chuggers. You know, I, I really feel like to enjoy it, you gotta sip this thing. Wow, that is that is. I mean, if you don't like larceny, you don't like sweet. I can see how people. I don't see it personally, but I understand why people wouldn't like it because I think. This is pretty true to what I've had from the Larceny, but it is just, it is just stepped up a lot. I mean, mouthfeel, character, heat, everything is just amplified right here. This is a really, really nice pour. And you're talking about 40, 50 bucks. It has the proof. It has the character to it. I think this is very, very, very well done. Very well done. Um, and it's a Heaven Hill product, which I'm not always the biggest Heaven Hill fan. But this this is Heaven Hill. Boom. Um, what would I rate this, man? I'm going to give it a four. That little bit of funk on the end kind of makes me say, eh. Mm. But that good. That good right there. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody saying. Now that thing, uh, my tongue feel like I've been eating spicy food. It's just dancing all around that, but not in my chest. Wow. Mm. That's a little bit of that dark chocolate. That's definitely like the mouth coating is is caramels, a little bit of slight hint of like all natural vanilla. That that nine dollar mini bottle of vanilla that you get. So that that real deal. Um. Maybe a little uh, little remnants of uh, like a dark fruit in there. And chocolate. And oak. And heat. Bam, 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 bam. But yeah, that's top notch. Uh, and I wanted to make sure, so I'm all over the place because I've been drinking tonight. So y'all hang in there with me. Uh, if you like the content that I'm putting out, check out jonesandman.com. You can grab all kind of fantastic stuff. Um, have You have alcohol shipped straight to your door, glassware, ice, make, all kind of stuff. If you're not a fan of what I'm doing, that's all right, dude. You can you still can follow and like. Comment, talk trash. It works. Um, But I really, uh, I tried something from Elvin Williams a couple episodes back. And it has started to degrade because it was open and it had been open so long. So this is 2023. This has probably been open. I probably didn't open it. It's probably been open in 21, probably. And if it degraded any in that time frame, then, woo, then you got to get you one of these because it's 10 times better. But I don't think it degraded because it really wasn't a lot of air to it. You know, this is my place. It's 
pretty pretty climate control overall. That's a solid pour right there. Uh, if you see these on the shelf, I would say grab it. Especially if you like weeders. If you don't mind sweeter, wow, grab you one. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Takis. It's your boy Jones and Man, and I am enjoying me some Larceny Barrel Proof. I'll see y'all next time. Ooh, hold on. I'll see y'all next time. Click on my drinker.